Hi Covenant, this is Josie uh, from the church office. I am recording a video today to show you how to give online. So as you can see, we are starting on bcoc.net, our homepage, because that's the easiest way to get to e-giving. I'm gonna go to the right-hand corner, far right, it says e-giving, it's got a nice little circle, Click on that, and this is our e-giving page. So we are gonna go really quick to use the link below to contribute, click here, but just so you know, there's a lot more information down here on the page, some screenshots, some information about church life and how to give via uh, the church life app. But today, we're just quickly going to go to our e-giving website. So here we are on the special ACS website for giving to Baptist Church of the Covenant. As you can see here, you can put the amount you want to give. You can select the fund you want to give to. So we've got the General Fund, Rogers Fund, Music Fund. For our parkers who rent spaces, they click the parking rental. All different kinds of funds. <laughs> so. Be sure to check it out if you need to um, give to a specific fund. There's also a memo where you can put, um, you know, what month this is of your pledge or if you need to designate that this is a gift in honor or memory of someone. Sherry, our financial administrator, sees all those memos. And you can also click add more right here on the right. And you can make another contribution uh, to another fund. So you can do multiple funds in one transaction. Then you need to add your email address. continue and what is going to happen is this screen is going to pop up that says we know you which means that you already have a login with access ACS and you should put your password if you don't know your password that's not a big deal just click forgot your password it will prompt you to put in your email or your username generally your username is your email uh, put in your email, send your email, and it'll send you a link where you can reset your password. You don't have to sign in if you don't want to. You can continue as a guest, but I would recommend signing in because this way any contribution you make online will really easily be attributed to your contribution record for tax purposes. So I'm going to put in my password and I guessed wrong <laughs> let's try again nope Ooh, this is embarrassing I made this login specifically for this video and now I can't remember the password ah we got in great so uh, here you can see you, we can make this donation a one-time donation happening uh, today on the second or you can select once a week every two weeks once a month if you want to set up giving your pledge online you can make this a recurring gift you can also once you put in all of the details for either your credit or debit card or a checking or a savings account. You can save it for future use and nickname it so that this is stored with your account so you don't have to pull out your card every single time you need to make a donation. And once you have finished that, just hit give and you should get a uh, confirmation that your gift has gone through. So. 
that is one of the really easy ways to give online. So we are back on the BCOC website to show you another way for you to get into ACS and give online. So you can go to our member page, which is up here at the top of the page on the right, not as far as e-giving, but just there, click members. And right here, access ACS member database. That's where we want to go. Click again, and we are going to log in. We're going to use that same password as we used uh, during the first demonstration. This is the password you use when you need to log into church life. And it, again, it's not a problem if you don't remember your password, click the link. It works like every other website where the, it will email you and send you a link where you can reset it. You can also contact me in the church office and I can help you out. If you um, don't have a login, this page is great for that because you just click there. You'll put in your email address, your first and last name, and it'll hit find me. And this will find you in our database and link uh, this email address with um, your database record. And it will send you, ACS will send you a link to set up a password and all that jazz. So we're going to go back here and enter our password. And now I know what it is, I think. Yay. So now we are in our dashboard. You can see here, you can go to a directory where you can view uh, an individual directory of all of our church members. You can uh, view a family directory with the photos we have. And on the home page, and you can always click home to get right back here. You can also search um, for anybody with a last name or a first name. But what we are most concerned with today is the giving section. So you've logged in, you're here, and you want to give online. And if you watch the first part of the video, this will look very familiar. So this is the place where you put in the amount you want to give, you select your fund, you select the frequency with which you want to give, uh, and you can say how long you want to give it, you know, you can select an end date. I want to give once a month and stop in June. You can also uh, hear if you've saved any information, you can put that here. And you click give and you'll get a confirmation page. You can also go up to give again with your mouse, go to my scheduled giving, and you will see if you have any gifts scheduled. You can uh, review your giving history. Right now, I made this account just for this video, so there is no giving history, but that's where your, yours will be. Uh, you can manage your payment methods. Uh, where you've saved, you know, a checking account, savings account, debit card. You can delete and add those here. And uh, you can, if you don't have any scheduled gifts, but you'd like to set one up, you know, if you think, hey, this is a lot easier than writing a check, hit add new gift. And again, we see this wonderful page where you fill out all your information and hit give. Also under giving, when you go to my giving history, you should be able to, when you select 2019, uh, when you're a member with an actual giving history instead of this uh, juicy YouTube account, you'll be able to download your uh, contribution record for your taxes. So this is really uh, helpful great way 
uh, to give online. And that is it. I think that is all we need to do today with this video. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all your um, kind words and patience during this weird uh, pandemic time. And again, contact me in the church office if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks so much.